Uh, my name is uh, Aram Batol. I'm a Berlin-based artist. I started the Dead Drops project a year ago, a little bit more than a year ago in New York City, where I was an uh, artist in residence at the uh, Media Art Institute iBeam. Um, the first Dead Drop I did together with my friend Bree at the New York Resistor MakerBot uh, yeah, location in Brooklyn. It's all about uh, sharing files offline. I also assume that a lot of you have seen that project online, so it's more like a wrap-up talk of what happened over the year. Um, it's about sharing files offline. You can make your own dead drop in any place you want. Uh, it's just a USB flash drive. You cement into a wall in the city. It's, uh, yeah, of course, there's no internet, so there's no IP number, there's no tracking. It's uh, about having fun with files and uh, be anonymous. So there's a whole website around it. You can uh, make your own dead drop and submit it uh, to the dead drop database. There is, this screenshot is like a couple weeks ago. It's maybe now it's 800 dead drops. I don't know what it says, 738. So there's, there's been, yeah, around 750 dead drops been made since last November 2010. Mm, I'm pretty sure not all of them are existing still, but um, yeah, it's an ongoing sort of self-running uh, worldwide. I, I consider it as an art project, but it's also very useful. Uh, many people have done it in, in different locations. There's always the three pictures, like showing the, um, the location where it is, like the information. When you scroll down, what you don't see here, then there's the open street map location, and also uh, there's information what people put like, yeah, not what they put on the dead drop because you should not tell online what you put on the dead drop, right? So, and then there's many people doing like spin off ideas. It goes different directions. Here, these guys, like, they soldered the LED out there <laughs> to, the, to the brick wall. There's also wireless drops, so you can um, submit dead drops in different uh, types of dead drops. I also, uh, we implemented doing live drops, which is actually file sharing party. Not many people use that, but this is, um, yeah, the wireless dead drop, which is also useful. There's other people like David Darts. He does um, the pirate box you might have seen online. It's like a, yeah, software. It's a, a server running on a on a router box and all that stuff. Um, it's interesting to look to look into that. Of course, um, I also assume there's there's many people here who do uh, or have done geocaching. Of course, there's some correlation to that. It's interesting to, to uh, look back in the history of letterboxing. I mean, on one hand, dead drops is the spy game, right? So I hide something and something else, uh, the other spy picks it up. But on the other hand, there's the, the whole uh, idea of letterboxing, which is from mid 19th century coming from UK. So you have walks in the nature and you find something in a box, you put your stamp in your book, etc. So there's a whole uh, interesting history about it. Um, the Dead Drops world map is, uh, yeah, also improved since, like, there's different people helping on the project, programming apps, there's an open API, there's uh, recently um, a digital overdose uh, translated the whole uh, Google Maps thing to open street maps, which is great. People use Dead Drops for all kinds of, yeah, all kinds of fun uh, experiments, so people have done art shows here in France, art show on, a, on dead drops in the city so people go and look at files. Also bands release their music on it or you find all kinds of interesting uh, files on dead drops. Um, yeah, this is the, the Berlin, the current Berlin map. We still need to implement like the, uh, if a dead drop is still like in function or not. This is sort of uh, missing at, at this stage. Um, well, yeah, this is the submit form where you can uh, upload all your stuff. Um, there's the drop types you can't see now, but it's, it's wireless drops, it's live drops, it's uh, uh, USB flash drops, and there's also somebody, and then there's other, when somebody just uh, installed SD card reader somewhere. Um, it was in a show at the MoMA in New York City this summer, fall, called um, Talk To Me, like a design, interaction design show. 
and people could drop their art in the dead drop in the MoMA. So I like encouraged everybody to like go there and put your, because all the artists want to be in the MoMA at some point. So <laughs> go there and uh, drop your art on the dead drop in the MoMA so you can claim you have art in the MoMA. What people did, and they just sent me back the five dead drops which are in the show, so that was kind of funny to go through them and to see what's on there. Yeah, this was like, uh, just recently the iPhone app came out. There's also an Android app, and yeah, I will show it later. There was lots of press over the, the last, yeah, 12 months, 14 months. Um, interviews, things going on, people, journalists especially keep asking like, so what's, what's on them? And I keep telling them like, yeah, well, I don't know, you have to go and check them yourselves. And that's the whole point. I mean, so people mostly don't, or it's, it's, yeah, you always need to explain, you know, no, I didn't do like the 700 dead drops. It's people out there in the world did them. And, um, I, I only saw maybe 20 or 30 when I go to a city, I, time to time I check them. Um, yeah, this is like the, the people who worked on it. Uh, uh, I, yeah, I'm very grateful for, for all the team members here doing work over the years. Um, yeah, there's an Android app, there's like different uh, HTML5 uh, mobile page stuff going on. Bruce Sterling did with his class a, uh, uh, um, the whole thing to, to layer to the uh, augmented reality browser. So, as I said, it's, uh, if you're interested to work with the API and stuff, you're invited. <laughs>